Welcome to a better driving experience with the new Detroit DT12 automated manual transmission. By following the steps in this video, you'll be ready to maximize your performance, safety, and fuel efficiency when you take to the road. When you get behind the wheel of a truck equipped with the DT12, you may first notice that instead of a gear shifter, there's a selector stock. You can use this control to request manual shifts, change the driving mode, and set engine brake levels. These features will be explained in more detail shortly. Before starting the truck, place the battery disconnect switch in the on position and the transmission gear selector stock switch in the neutral position. Allow the gauges to sweep for about 8 seconds before starting. To get into gear, first apply brake pressure, then move the rotating sleeve on the gear selector stock to D for drive or R for reverse. The DT12 will quickly and automatically detect the gradient you're starting on and select the appropriate starting gear ratio, usually second. In an unloaded or bobtail situation, the transmission may select up to fifth gear to start the vehicle rolling. In any driving mode, gear shifts can be requested manually. In manual mode only, a suggested shift is displayed to indicate the most economical gear available. The suggested shift is the number of up or down arrows from the current gear with a maximum of two up or down arrows. Creep mode moves the vehicle at low speeds, improving maneuverability for parking, docking, and heavy traffic without having to press the accelerator. To begin using creep mode, release the service brake and briefly depress the accelerator pedal, thereby fully engaging the clutch. The vehicle's urge to move can then be felt. Following this and for the duration of the current driving cycle, creep mode is active. Once the vehicle is stopped via the service brake, the vehicle will begin to creep again without any accelerator pedal input. You can also select a lower gear while in creep mode for sliding trailer tandems or in stop and go traffic. And the transmission can be upshifted or downshifted with the shifter stock. Hill Start Aid is a key safety feature that holds the load on a grade greater than 3% for up to 3 seconds while the driver moves from the service brake to the throttle. Hill Start Aid and Creep Mode will work together if Creep Mode is active. When on a grade, Hill Start Aid will hold the vehicle long enough for Creep Mode to start slowly rolling the vehicle. Dashboard and audible warnings will alert you to clutch abuse, slipping or starting in an inappropriate gear. The clutch will not engage until foot pedal movement is acknowledged by the engine. Once you're rolling, the transmission detects the vehicle mass and, depending on the road grade, may choose to use the skip shift feature. Skip shifting quickly moves through the lower gears to save fuel and achieve optimal cruising speed. For example, you may start in second gear, skip to fourth, then to sixth and up to eighth before shifting through one gear at a time to top gear. Every skip shift improves acceleration. This happens smoothly thanks to the communication process between the engine and transmission. When driving on downgrades, the DT12 may enter e-coast mode. Here, the transmission temporarily disengages the clutch so the vehicle maintains momentum while the engine efficiently idles. Engine RPMs will drop to 600 and an E will be visible in the gear display window. E-Coast will remain active until the electronics require torque or there is any input from the driver. At that time, the DT12 will safely and seamlessly resume normal operation when required. E-Coast is only available in automatic economy driving mode. The transmission control module calculates the torque windup in the drive line and regulates with engine torque control. This reduces clutch wear and reduces the jerking motion at startup and protects the drive line. 
Engine braking with the DT12 can be set by rotating the shifter stock clockwise. The top position is the off or auto position, which will be explained shortly. At the three lower positions, the engine brake is on and the intensity, low, medium or high, increases with each step down. Engine brakes will work like any other compression braking. Once you let off the throttle, engine braking power will activate if set to low, medium, or high. The second form of engine braking is the cruise control band switch on the dash, labeled CC band. To use this feature, cruise control must be set and manual engine braking must be in the off or auto position. The CC band switch allows the driver to set the cruise control overrun while descending a grade. The top position is the low band and allows three miles per hour over your cruise set speed. The middle position is medium band and allows five miles per hour over your cruise set speed. And the bottom position is the infinite overrun and will turn off automatic engine braking. Once the vehicle has achieved the set overrun limit, engine braking will slow the vehicle to stay within the set limits. The engine brakes may also force a downshift of the transmission to improve engine braking performance. Manual engine braking with the shifter stock will always override the CC band switch. If manual engine braking is used, cruise control will be canceled and engine braking will slow the vehicle down. When the shifter stock is returned to the auto position, cruise control will auto resume to your cruise set speed. This is why the off position is also the auto position when cruise control is set. An auto neutral feature electronically shifts the transmission into neutral if not done within five seconds after the truck parking brake is applied. An audible warning instructs the driver to select neutral. If the driver forgets to put the vehicle in neutral, a second audible warning tells the driver the transmission has selected neutral. To reselect a starting gear, just move the transmission select collar into neutral and then into drive or reverse with the service brake applied. We're confident that the new Detroit DT12 will give you a significant advantage in making your driving experience smoother, safer, and more efficient than ever.